Boogies, today I am going to give you my April TBR, so let's get started. Now, with the success of the readathon that I just had, um, I dwindled down some of my March TBR, but I'm still working on it. Um, so hopefully this will not leak into April. Hopefully. <laughs> and I do have a couple of books that are due within the first couple of days of April that I really, really got to get done. Um, so what I'm going to do for the first part of this video is going to go over the books that are due on tour as um, from what I know as of now. And then I'm going to show you the stacks because I have redone the stacks. Um, they have moved up, so that's good, but I have added more, so that's bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's get started. So what I have due on April 3rd is A Magic Steeped in Poison. I actually just finished that for the readathon, and it was super, super good. Oh my god, so good. Um, it gives a lot of Spin the Dawn vibes. Um, and there's a lot of chord intrigue, so if you're into that, definitely check it out. For the week of April 4th, I have Do in Order, A Love from Scratch, The Matchbreaker Summer, The Blood Trials, Hotel Magnifique, The Tilter Smith, Crimson Summer, and This Rebel Heart. Oh cool, I actually get a break on the week of the 11th. <laughs> The week of the 18th, I have this do. Sophie and the Bone Song, Grow Up Talia Watkins, and Jordy and Joey Fell from the Sky. And then the very last thing I have to do immediately for April is Map Makers and the Lost Magic Review. So that is what I have to do so far that, <laughs> that, what, uh, that is what I know of. So now for the stacks, which is seemingly everyone's favorite part because they tend to think like how the hell can she juggle that many i also wonder how the hell i can juggle that many and then i realize that this is part of my workout routine <laughs> i just go downstairs and i like i put stacks of books in my no i'm just kidding i'm just kidding hold on i get it um and if you're not familiar with how i do my physical tbr i have three stacks the first stack is the immediate tbr that is the stuff that i need to get done within the month of whatever um the second stack is the I want to get into that pile. So I want to get into that pile um, while we were while we are still in the month of April. The third stack is uh, just there. <laughs> it is the hopeful pile, and it is just it, it is just there to work its way up, and it's doing good. <laughs> All right, stack number one. Since I already read *A Magic Steeped in Poison*, this is going to start off on a book I don't have to read. So we have *The Fangirl's Guide to the Universe*. The Tilter Smith, which I already said I have a review due of. Hotel Magnifique, same thing. She Gets the Girl, which I think I'm going to be on tour for, but I really, really want to read it. It's one of my anticipated reads, so it's going on the TBR. Um, Magic Story by Laurel Gale. Miracles in the Void by Wes Dyson. <clears throat> oh, this one's a, one I should have done a review for like years ago. Caught by Demons by Catherine Blanche. One that the author gave to me to review, After the Revelation, by Robert Evans. <sighs> the Vinyl Underground, by Rob Ruffus. Dating Darcy, by uh, Sayantani Dascupa. Uh, please correct me if I mispronounce that. Kid Innovators, um, which is different childhood stuff. I really, really want to get that one done because I want to give it to my pregnant friend. The Legend of Brightblade by Ethan M. Eldridge. Spark and the Grand Sleuth by Robert Rapino. It's the End of the World and I'm in My Bathing Suit by Justin A. Reynolds. This is part one to stack one. So hold on. Stack one, part two. We have Karthik Delivers by Sheila Shari. My Sister's Big Fat Indian Wedding by um, Sani Patel. The, the Fantastical Exploits of Gwendolyn Gray by B.A. Williamson. 
Hunters of the Lost City by Katie, uh, Katie Wallace. Yeah. The Girl Who Gave... <laughs> I always get this title so bad. The Girl the Sea Gave Back by Adrian Young. Trusting True North by Gina Linka. Pioneering the North by Neelan McBain. The Rent Collector by Cameron Wright. Descendant of the Crane by, by Joan He. I don't even know if that was in frame. I'm sorry. Also, Descendant of the Crane by Joan He. That's the oldest book I have on my neck alley. So, very, very excited that it's moving on up and that I will get to it in April. Egg Marks the Spock by um, Emberly. <laughs> Egg Marks the Spot by Amy Timberlake. Mortal Remains by Mary Ann Frazier. Bluebird by Sharon Can Cameron. And the last book for, uh, for stack one is Dream It and Do It by Holly A. Sharp. This stack starts column two of my TBR pile. Oh my god, it's already, uh, it's already getting out of hand. <laughs> this is not even as big as what I just carried. All right. We got Fragile Remedy by Maria in, Grand, in, in Grande Mora. The Wild World Handbook by Andrea Deptic. Imprison the Sky by A.C. Goggin. <gasps> Too old for this. <laughs> Bookish and the Beast by Ashley Poston. The Disaster is by M.K. England. Marvel's Pride, call, um, I think Volume 1. Curse of the Specter Queen. Um, I don't know who it's by because it's on the inside of the cover. Um, but that is also a net galley book. Once Upon a Dream, uh, Once Upon a Dream by Liz Braswell. Another net galley book, Mirror Mirror by Jen Kalanita. Go to Distance, also by Jen Kalanita. Stack, or part two of Stack Two. Once Upon a Quinceanera, which is another um, Net Galley book that I have by Monica Gomez Ira. Black Girls Must Die Exhausted and Black Girls Must Be Magic, both by Jane Allen. Frankie and Amelia by Cami McGovern. Unearthed, which I fixed from the faux pas of last month. Unearthed by Amy Coffin and Megan Spooner. The Circus at the Sea by The Circus at the End of the Sea by Lori R. Snyder. And We Sold Our Souls by Grady Hendrix. <sighs> Alright, and this is part one of stack three. So these are the hopefuls that I probably won't get to. But they are moving up, so we are so happy. I have both the Endangerous one and two by um, Philip Cousteau and Austin Aslan. I have A Vow So Bold and Dead Deadly by Bridget Kimmermer because I really want to um, get to it before the fourth one comes out, which is like a separate side series. Heartless by Marissa Meyer. The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Catherine The Great Journey, um, which is a Royal Diaries book. <laughs> Siege and Storm and Ruin and Rising, both by Lee Bardugo. All right, last stack of physical books for April. We have Rage by Cora Carmack. People We Need on Vacation by Emily Henry. This Poison Heart by Kaylin Bayron. Labyrinth Floss by Zorita Cordova. Never Would Wake by Marisha Pestle. The Chain by Adrienne McKinty. And Forest of Lost Souls by Camilla Binko. And if this is your first page TBR, massive TBR pile video, um, at, the, at the end I always give ebooks that I also requested and that I want to read. Um, because apparently I hate myself. <laughs> so here are some books that I want to read. Um, these are probably, well, I've already done the April list. So when I did the April list, I put these ones at the end of it. And I'm trying to get through the January backlog as of right now. I'm working on it, but it's still going because 
me. Um, <laughs> but here are the ones that I want to get to that are in ebook format. The Last Unseen, Mrs. England, Deeper in Providence. I'm actually going to get to Deeper in Providence before the end of April, preferably before it comes out because the offer reached out to me so long ago and I want to help promote her. She seems so sweet. And that's uh, Riss Nelson, I believe is what her name is. Um, but definitely check it out. It's upcoming and I'm super excited for it. Air of Blood and Secrets, Business Not As Usual, The Romantic Agenda, A Duet for Home, and The Color of the Sky is the Shape of My Heart. is massive but we do what we do to keep moving forward um, to try to get the TBR piled down um, an update on it, a short little update we're still on Jeffrey <laughs> um, but I did notice that when I did this TBR pile that I had to pull extra bucks from a cart to fill the gaps 
um, at the bottom because we were originally ending at um, the people we meet on vacation. We've been stuck on that for a couple of months and it actually moved up some. So I'm very, very happy with that. That means that I am getting some books read, but I still need to keep up this momentum and do better. Um, but yeah, that is everything for April <laughs> so far. Um, send good vibes and tell me if any of these books are also on your TBR. Um, but thank you guys for watching. See you again. Bye.